my channel Akriti Rana Gills. So a lot of you guys wanted to know how do I remove hair from different parts of my body. So I'm going to be talking about all the techniques that I have been using for removing hair from all parts of my body. So let's get into the video. non-sponsored video. I actually wanted to tell all of you girls about what I've been doing and how I thought the techniques I've been using were wrong and what I have changed for what reason because uh, this is something every girl wants to know and there have been times when I was confused while growing up and I couldn't really ask anyone so I had to choose certain things and then I realized no I should maybe use something else to remove hair so I think this video is going to help all of you girls who want to know and uh, I wish I had somebody <laughs> telling me about everything but nonetheless here we go okay so when I was in 10th grade I moved to Delhi from a very small place my dad was in army and he got posted to really small small places where people truly didn't care about anything but when my uh, dad moved to Delhi I got a little conscious about the hair growth on my legs I didn't have a lot of hair but I had hair enough for people to point it out so I went for waxing and uh, during my 10th grade I used to barely find time to go for waxing because it became super tough while studying and then my mossy who lived in US kind of uh, came and told me that you know why do you want to waste time in waxing and it takes so long it's so painful how about you use a razor so I started using a razor right after my 10th grade and I found it super convenient so the only thing is that I only use a razor on my legs I don't use the razor anywhere else because uh, arms and uh, everywhere else I feel that if my growth becomes a little pokey or other people kind of brush through my hand and they feel it's a little pokey I get really conscious about it so um, being a blogger I shoot a lot and I really don't get time to wait for my head to grow back so that I can go for waxing. So ever since my 10th grade, I've continued uh, shaving my legs and I haven't really faced any problems apart from the fact that when the hair just starts growing back, you feel it's pokey. The minute the, the hair growth is a little longer, you start feeling that the growth is normal again. But of course, if you go for waxing and you go for regular waxing, over the years, your growth becomes less but with shaving everything that's going to happen. I really don't uh, find the time for waxing, so the alternate way I can remove my hair for a longer duration and make it softer is a laser. So I've been talking to a couple of people about laser. Uh, laser doesn't actually uh, completely vanishes your hair growth but it reduces your hair growth to very very fine hair which is very doable. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get my underarms and my legs uh, lasered. Um, so I only use razor on my legs and on my underarms because underarms is again something for which I cannot wait to get waxing done. Arms I get waxing done and I use an epilator so whenever I feel that uh, I have a lot of tanning and there's like a lot of hair growth I go for waxing so that it removes my tanning also and uh, sometimes when I just am in a rush and I want to get done by doing everything at home, I use an epilator. Epilator is another uh, really important tool because uh, it's very convenient to use it at home. I know it pains a little and it's a, little, it's a time consuming process but you just get used to it and uh, my mom has been using an epilator since so many years and now she doesn't have her hair growth at all like she barely gets hair so it's like waxing over time your hair growth reduces because epilator actually plucks hair from its root again so it reduces the growth for my upper lips i know how to do threading i in school i learned how to do threading i am a person who hates going to the parlor 
I actually can't find time to go to the park. I just don't like it. I want to do everything on my own. So I found little ways here and there to do everything by myself. And uh, threading is another thing which I learned. It's very easy to uh, thread your face or your upper lips. The only thing is that I don't like uh, to take a chance by threading my eyebrows because uh, once you get a hair here and there wrong, it just messes up your entire face. I thought that I have a lot of hair on my face here and here and one or two people had pointed out during school. So I got very conscious about that and I thought of threading my face. So I took a thread and I did threading all over my face here and here. But my skin is kind of so sensitive that I got a lot of tiny, tiny, tiny pimples all over my face and I looked really bad. So I didn't want to do it after that. Also, if you bleach, I've heard that the hair growth decreases again. If you use waxing on your face, then your face uh, skin tends to become loose and laser is again something which is, uh, I don't know if you should be doing on your face. So <laughs> I kind of have left the hair on my face here and here. It's not a lot. I kind of, uh, you know, adjusted to the fact that I have it and it's okay, everybody gets hair. And uh, actually no one really pointed it out ever since school like, after one or two people did. And I'm very confident that even if somebody comes and tells me, oh your hair here, I kind of just tell them back that yes, everybody gets hair, so what? <laughs> so upper lips, I either do threading or I use the epilator again. But make sure whenever you use threading or whenever you do threading or use the epilator, you have your skin really dry and use a powder. Otherwise you might get rashes or you might peel off your skin and it look really bad so this really funny incident happened with me I was to go somewhere and uh, for a short trip and I was really excited and I thought I'd have over my moustache so I took bath I came out and I used an epilator over my upper lip and the thing is that the area right there was so moist that when I used the uh, epilator the hair was sticking to my face so much that I kind of used it over and over again and I kind of peeled off the entire skin where my moustache comes. I literally couldn't show my face anywhere because this entire area was red and I looked so funny and I had to use a lot of uh, compact just to cover that entire uh, area up. It became dark, it became blue and then finally it became normal. So please make sure that the area is not moist at all and a lot of powder before doing anything. Apart from that, uh, I used to go for making my eyebrows but uh, over time again I didn't want to go to the parlor just to get one thing done on myself. So I found a way to do my brows as well. I use a plucker and I have a tiny razor. So I take the razor and try to just shape my uh, eyebrows from the outside. I don't have a very thick growth so it's kind of easy for me to remove hair and then I use the plucker to remove uh, any random hair from here and there and then of course we have uh, eyebrow pencils so it's super convenient just to shape your eyebrows and fill them up and you won't see a difference. My eyebrows just look perfect. So if you want to remove hair from the pubic area initially in school, I was so scared to ask anyone about what should I do about it. My mom never told me that, you know, you can go for waxing, we just never spoke about it. And uh, so initially I started trimming it using a scissor. And then I started feeling, no, I want to feel more clean there. So I started using a razor. But whenever I used a razor on that part, the skin is so sensitive, it's so soft, that, you know, you tend to get a lot of rashes there and uh, it becomes very pokey and it just doesn't feel good. So I was so lazy to go to the parlor that I tried to just, you know, use a scissor again for trimming it off. But over time I started feeling that I can't go wear a swimsuit or something which is very revealing when I'm on the beach. So the only way you would feel comfortable around that area is if you go for waxing. I went for waxing when I got married the first time. It pains like hell. Like it was so bad. It was like the most painful thing I did. But it went well. Uh, it did hurt a lot initially. The first time you're gonna go, it's gonna kill you. It's gonna take a lot of time. And the person is gonna do it very slowly for you. But uh, over time, 
I thought that the growth reduces and you must go regularly so that with short hair if you get it done then it doesn't pain so much if you get it done with longer hair it will put your skin really bad and it's gonna hurt you a lot so once you start just you know go ahead with it pull the courage to just go over and over again and over time your growth is going to reduce so the only time now when I go to a father is just to get a Brazilian wax done and trust me you feel truly really good after that and it's not for you to show it to anyone it's just for yourself oh and i completely forgot to talk about my stomach area so i'm getting very thin fine hair on my stomach so i generally what i do is i just shave them off like once in a month and uh, the hair on my stomach don't really become thick or they don't grow too much even after shaving so I'm very uh, cool with that which is once a month I can just uh, raise them off and they still come out really soft for some reason also if you have hair on your back I am not sure what you can do probably you can just uh, get waxing done once in a while and I don't have any issues uh, with my back so do you really know I've never tried out anything but I think waxing would be a good option if you have the patience to go to the bathroom. So yeah that's about it, that's what I do for my body and if you girls have any other questions you want to ask me about anything then please feel free to comment down below. I would love to address all of your questions and I'll answer them personally. So please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm Shikhi Ranangil and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!